I would love to know more about the origins of your interest in the arts. What do you remember when it was that you first became interested in arts? I think it was the influence of my father, hmm. which uh, always was very. Uh, my father was always an open-minded man. Uh, just to tell you a short history, when I finished elementary school, uh, I was very creative. I liked to draw. I loved to paint. But that was in the early times, you know. So then uh, when I was trying to get into the high school, I got a little bit rebellious. And I told, I told my father that I don't want to go to high school. My father got a little bit like scared. I said, what, what, what's your plan? But my father, rather than being a strict and obligate me to go to school, in high school, he, he asked me, what do you like to do? And I say, I want to, I want to do art. And in my father and my, in my house was a piano. So I was playing piano already by ear. And then my father gave me an option. He says, what about if you study music? What about you study drawing and painting with a teacher that I know? And then the rest of your free time, you learn things in my workshop because my father was an excellent welder he he used to do welding for for different body shops and all the neighborhood around used to bring objects cooking pans and things like that that they break with the time and my father used to weld them and fix them so my high school years rather than going to the classical traditional school i went to private music school i went to private teaching classes of drawing and paintings. And on the rest of the week, I was helping my father in his workshop, where in which I learned welding, using power tools, understanding basic safety, safety concepts about working around tools and metal objects. So I have a very, very alternative education. Uh, your father was a remarkable man in the sense that he was completely supportive. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yes. And so that's interesting because I did read, I came across a statement, I don't know whether yes. it was in your website or someone who wrote about your works, I can't really remember right now, but that you, okay. let's say that for your craftsmanship, you know, you have this education and also you have your father helping you with that, but your education as an artist is something different. And what I read, I believe, was you said that you try to develop the artist within you. And I wondered yes. what that meant and what that process sort of entails. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You you phrase something that I say, I don't know from which of the articles, but well, some way, somehow, I feel like I have some freedom. I didn't I didn't even went to the classical academic art school, which also I know that is good. Because it trains you and I teach and it teach you the, the traditional academic art school will will show you what is the art world around through history. But sometimes you get a lot of preconceived concepts about art. But in my case, I went to study, but it was more like private one on one teacher and a student situation for more than three years in music and in art and visual arts. Of course my my drawing and painting teacher, she was showing me through different books and pictures, great masters of the Renaissance to, to contemporary. And it, it for sure it, it influenced me. But uh, as I was doing art since I was maybe 13, 14 years old, I was making my own sculptures. I think uh, through the process of making them through many years allowed me to discover my my, my artistic self from within myself i think that i hope what i say is it, it add, add to the concept that you mentioned you know you didn't want to be too influenced by outside sources yeah but it was not a conscious conscious attitude about ah, it okay. uh, now now i can see it you know maybe if i will go to if i haven't go to to the academic school traditional academic art school for sure i will have some kind of influence but I can tell you right now that when I see the artwork of my peers, of, of uh, young artists around, you know, the city, or my experience of seeing people that are artists with 
the five or six years of a traditional academic school, I can see the difference between kind of a self-taught artist and academic traditional artist. It's, a, it's a, always it's a line that separates the aesthetics of both type of uh, experience.